free tutorial in which I will be showing you how exactly you restore properly the new M1 Max. This will work with any M1 Mac. I have the M1 Mac Mini, so check the links in the description below where you will find the actual Apple guide which walks you through each and every one of these steps. First, we need to talk about exactly why you would want to do this. Now, what we're gonna do is gonna be a pretty technical process, so if you're not technically savvy, <laughs> This is the right way to erase and restore a clean version of macOS Big Sur onto an M1 Mac Mini. Now, you can do this with the Mac that you're going to uh, use to restore um, and reformat. Just make sure you have about 12 gigabytes of disk space available. And I'm going to run through this, uh, this guide, which will be one of the links in the description below, how to create a bootable installer for macOS. Um, what we need to do is first download Mac OS. Uh, I want Big Sur because all M1 Macs uh, use Big Sur. Um, thankfully, you don't have to download a M1 specific version of Big Sur as far as I can tell. I downloaded the regular version of Big Sur just off of the App Store with an Intel based Mac. So um, you're gonna go ahead and click that get button and allow it to download, but I should already have a copy uh, downloaded here. So I don't need to wait for downloading. The first thing we're gonna do is open up terminal and uh, just get into this, uh, this console here. So the first thing we need to do is uh, just follow this step-by-step -step guide here. We're going to connect the USB flash drive. We've done that. We've opened terminal. Um, we did that. Now we're going to paste the following lines of code, which again can be found in the link in the description below. So we're trying to install Big Sur. So we're going to use this uh, bit of code for Big Sur. Um, we're going to go ahead and enter this command here. And we're going to change this uh, word, the word that says my volume right here to be the name of my hard drive. Um, again, this hard drive is going to be completely wiped. So any data that you have on it, kiss it goodbye or save it somewhere else. Uh, this is just a completely blank drive and it is titled, uh, it is called untitled. So I'm just going to go ahead and type that in here. And then we should be able to hit enter and it's going to ask for our password. This is the administrator password. I'm going to go ahead and quickly enter that in there and hopefully that works. And then we're going to get uh, a little question here. You want to type yes with a Y and then it will go ahead and erase your disk and then reformat the external disk to be a bootable installer. Okay, so uh, it's, got, it's gone ahead and finished and we can confirm that terminal is done. So we're here on the Mac mini now and just uh, shut this Mac down. Um, okay, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, start up the Mac um, by pressing and holding the power button till we hear the startup chime and wait until something displays on the screen uh, giving us, uh, saying that it's loading startup options. There we go. All right, so we have our uh, startup options here. Okay, so it picked up everything. So pressing and holding that power button uh, showed us everything that we have here. So right now I'm seeing uh, our install Mac OS Big Sur, which is from this hard drive right here. So if I were to unplug this hard drive, uh, that option would disappear. We also have the internal Macintosh hard drive, which would just start up Big Sur like regular, since I haven't deleted anything yet. But then we have the startup options here, which is actually fairly interesting. So we're gonna go ahead and click continue on that, and that gets us into our standard recovery mode options that used to be on Intel Macs. So we get our recovery assistant with uh, our time machine restore, reinstall Mac OS, uh, Big Sur, Safari and disk utility. Repeat this multiple times. We do not want to delete this Apple SSD media. This is the actual hard drive. Everything that's done on the computer is done inside of containers on the actual hard drive. So clicking the erase button on this main hard drive is gonna, um, but we can get rid of this container here um, that has uh, 145 gigs. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, click erase and we're gonna rename this uh, Macintosh HD APFS, and that's gonna basically uh, delete all of our uh, Big Sur and uh, all the containers that were involved with Big Sur. Uh, so now we're basically not gonna have a, uh, a bootable operating system anymore. Uh, we've now deleted everything on the hard drive that we want to delete. If you want to delete more things, you can. If you know what you're doing, um, now is the time to delete stuff. Now that I'm done deleting stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down. And uh, we're gonna start it up again by pressing and holding the power button after about 10 seconds of it being off. So we've cleared out the volumes that we've wanted to clear out, but there are extra steps that Big Sur requires to actually be able to delete stuff. Up until now, this is the same process as I would use with an Intel Mac. This is where it gets different for M1 Macs. So starting it up, we're uh, pressing and holding again to get our uh, boot options. You notice the Macintosh HD is now no longer an option 
because I deleted that uh, that container that had uh, Mac OS Big Sur, the actual install on it. So in, before we can start playing with things, because we will get random errors if we go straight to install Mac OS Big Sur, mostly the personalized, uh, uh, this update failed to create personalizations or something error, I'll throw a screenshot up if I, if I remember. Um, but we're gonna click uh, options here and we're gonna go back into our startup options and we're gonna go into the terminal. So uh, inside of the terminal, which we get to um, by utilities and then terminal right here, we're gonna go ahead and enter in a uh, terminal command called reset password. And that is going to bring us into this reset password window. Now, this is actually not something that we want to do. Um, but this gets us an option up here that we do need. We click over to this reset password failed window after we typed in that terminal can command reset password. We go up to recovery assistant up here, and now we see this option called erase Mac. I don't know why this isn't more available <laughs> throughout the regular settings in Mac OS Big Sur, but this is the setting that we need. So we click on that erase Mac button. I'm gonna go ahead and click erase Mac. We want to erase Mac. If you're signed in with iCloud on Big Sur, you're gonna have to enter in your iCloud password a couple times. So we're now erasing the Mac right now. It's gonna do its thing for a minute, um, but it should come up in a few minutes uh, with everything all ready to go. All right, so we now have erased uh, the M1 Mac and we are now ready to start this up. This from now on is completely different than how, uh, how Intel Macs handle this. So uh, since I hadn't signed in with iCloud, um, there was no activation lock on it. Um, this is the screen though where you'd uh, use activation lock to uh, unlock it. All right, great. So we have uh, some weird pink dots showing up, but uh, no matter. Um, we are going to go ahead and uh, now we have uh, signed in, we've unlocked the activation lock. In order to do a uh, disk restore, we're now gonna restart it one more time and we're gonna boot, uh, select the bootable drive. Now, if you want to do an internet restore, you click this uh, internet restore. If you wanted to do one of the op other options like the terminal restore, you can uh, go to Safari, grab the terminal text and then open in terminal and do it that way. Um, but I like doing it just off the drive. It's a little simpler for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shut it down one more time. Press the power button and hold to get us into our boot options one more time. I love that startup chime. I'm so happy Apple brought back the post hoc startup chime. It's uh, very nice that they brought that back. All right, we should see Big Sur. There it is, install Mac OS Big Sur. We're gonna click the continue button. There we go. All right, so before that wasn't an option, the Macintosh HD wasn't a hard, an option because I hadn't formatted it correctly. So now we're gonna wait for uh, our actual install to happen. So the data is being transferred from the external hard drive into the Mac Mini's hard drive. We're over the hump, folks. We are now uh, officially reinstalling Big Sur on the Mac Mini itself. Um, once this bar is done, it's gonna go through the standard Big Sur setup process, which is asking um, you know standard questions, um, signing into iCloud, <laughs> asking if you want light mode or dark mode, all those fun things. We are now starting back up into Big Sur. That was a lot of waiting involved. Um, thankfully, I did have enough patience to make it through, and thankfully, due to the magic of filmmaking, I was able to make so that you didn't have to wait all the way through. It was very terrible and painful. I love that sound. Oh, I'm never gonna get old sad of that sound. That is a beautiful sound. Should be used forever and for always for every sound ever in the world. Um, cool, looks like we are starting up into Big Sur. The final install, hopefully it all went well. If it didn't, then oh boy, we had more problems to contend with. So thanks so much for joining me.